Peace to you, my family in Christ. Welcome to another devotion. Thank God for another day. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We are called to rejoice and be glad in it. This is the week of the devil's defeat. Yes, let's rejoice and be glad because Satan is defeated. Hallelujah. And he's defeated by the grace of God operating in our lives, by the word of God that we are trusting and obeying. Indeed, he's defeated by the praises we are giving to God right now, for all of his benefits towards us. What a mighty God we serve as we acknowledge him. We are indeed looking to God. We are indeed resisting the devil. He has to flee because he's defeated in the name of the Lord. And I'm grateful today for the presence, the power of God. And as we continue to celebrate our fresh start, new beginning, indeed, we thank God for his faithfulness towards us. And we hear his character. We hear his heart, his mercy towards us today. And then we celebrate the fact that God is who he is. And we ought to complement it by doing the will of God as we live. Hear his heart. Psalm 103, 10 to 12. He had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. The NIV version says, He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as we remove our transgressions from us. The word of God to the people of God. God's heart towards us is pure, is genuine, is true. We must acknowledge it today. What if he did it? What if he dealt with us according to our sins? We we're being crushed to powder, but instead, he had mercy upon us. He gave love and grace towards us. He did not repay us according to our iniquities, nor given us deserving punishment according to our sins. The psalm is extended as high as the heavens above the earth. So great is his mercy towards them that fear him. Today, we ought to double our fear for God, our reverence, our respect, our revere. In humility, we ought to give him glory because of what he has done. It's called for prayer, for praise, for thanksgiving. It is a call for us to acknowledge him in front of others, despite what they may say. We ought to give him glory. We ought to give him praise because of his response to us. He could have not given us a second chance. He could have rewarded us according to our sins and our iniquities. But he said, I will give grace. I will give mercy. And today, we ought to celebrate that. The enemy will want us to think otherwise, that God is tired of us, that God can't handle us, that we have done so wrong that he can't forgive us. The devil is a liar. God can forgive us once we confess, 
once we yield, once we submit, once we turn to him, he can forgive us. And he will do it right away. We just need to believe. Father, we thank you for your response to us. You didn't deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our iniquities. As far as the heavens is from the earth, you have removed our sins. You have caused us, the Lord, to be free. You have liberated us. You have moved us from darkness to light. You have moved us from the pit of sin into the presence of God. What a mighty God we serve. In our response, we give thanks. In our response, we seek you in prayer. In our response, we share Christ to the nations. We are grateful. Yes, we are grateful for your blessings upon us. And we thank you as we live today in reverence, in obedience, in fear of you. Others will know that Christ is the King of glory. Others will know that Christ is the Savior of the world. Let us will know that in Christ we live and move and have our being. We thank you today for your faithfulness, your never changing self. Thank you that you were obedient to death, even the death of the cross, and you exalted even today. And we praise you and we exalt you, your favor towards us. As we commend those who lead the nations this morning, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, their families, we pray your blessings upon them as they too seek after you, as they too be fearful and reverent to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your blessings upon families everywhere today. We command parents and children, households, we thank you for meeting needs today. Regardless of whatever it is, you are faithful, God. You are incredible. You are indeed awesome. And we give you thanks. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem. And believers everywhere, we commend to you today that we will show forth your praise. We will tell of your goodness. We will compliment that which you've done. Hallelujah. We'll respond in kind because you work in us both to do and your will and your pleasure. We thank you. We bless you and honor and praise your name today. For you are good and your mercies endureth forever. We pray this in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today, believers, as we stretch forth in praise and in thanksgiving for what God has done for us, what he's doing right now, what he will continue to do. Let's respond in praise, in prayer, and the great commission today for what God has done for us. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.